What's up, VC? Welcome back to another episode of... Notes from the Dead Wax. Uh, on this episode, we are going to be... Was my hair okay? On this episode, we are going to be going over... What is it? H. And I. H and I. Um, it's going to be a quick episode, so hooray for you. I should say hooray for me for keeping it short. But then again, look at me now, I'm not even keeping it short. Anyways, uh, H and I, I is in petit peu, very tiny. Um, so let's get into it. This episode, we are listening to Go To Blazes on Skyclad. It's uh, kind of rockabilly-ish. I don't know. I haven't listened to it in a long time. Kind of just listening to it now as we go over this. So maybe it's good, maybe it's not. I don't know. You will find out with me. But anyways, let's get into H. First up, we have Hawaii. Nearer than you think. Lovelier than you dreams. It's in stereo. It's a hot Hawaiian lady there looking to lay you. It's the bag. And this release is actually was a gift to my grandparents. Um, from it looks like Billy. Janet and Lisa from 1967. What I think is kind of crazy is uh, whoever these people are, parents, friends of my grandparents, they uh, went to Hawaii and bought this and brought it back home. So I know uh, buying vinyl when you're on your travels, especially if you have to fly, is a pain in the ass. When I was in Australia, I bought a Pretty Things LP at um, Red Eye Records in Sydney and uh, yeah getting it back home I just kind of worried the whole time that it was gonna break and my luggage and just I don't know it was kind of a pain in the ass but anyways there's uh, this got some booklets here map of the islands it's pretty I mean there's quite a bit here so kind of gives you the whole rundown of Hawaii um, from the early 60s at least pretty cool tells you about all the islands and I think the release is about yeah just traditional Hawaiian chant songs and what have you it's kind of cool so Hank Williams Wait for the Light to Shine on MGM. Can't go wrong with some Hanky Panky. Up next, Hank Williams, I'm Blue Inside. It's also on MGM. Somebody stamped it. Hank Williams Jr.'s Greatest Hits. What does his hat say? I don't know. He's like a happy guy. Do not have any Hank the Third on LP, but I love me some Hank Three. So that's on my shopping list. Here we have Honky Tonk Piano and a Hot Banjo on Mercury. Lou Stein and John Kelly. Cool typography there. This is another one of those covers that has that finish got a uh, laminate on it looks like man they held up those those hold up so nice 
This is from what year? I don't know. I would assume the 60s. But look at that. Looks great. Here we got Hank Williams. Let me sing a blue song. More honky tonk piano and banjo with rhythm. Ragtime cowboy mode and rhythm. Kind of a different Hudson High Fidelity. In the back, actually, goes like that with the uh, flaps on the outside. It's kind of cool. You have any split seams, I guess, that way. I don't know. How often do I listen to banjo and ragtime? Not very often. But, every once in a while, you're in that mood for some banjo, right? Here we go! Heat Wave! Featuring the Groove Line. 1978, with sticker. In the shrink still. Oh man. Look at those sweet sweaters. But uh, the Groove Line is a great song. Um, there was a show on that was amazing called Freaks and Geeks. It's where like um, James Franco and those other guys, they've been in all those movies, but they came from this show called Freaks and Geeks. That was an amazing show based out of the 70s. A brother and a sister, and one was a geek, and one was a freak. Well, she was a geek that turned into a freak, and I don't know, just an amazing show. Um, she, I was a huge fan of it when it was on. I got the box set, but anyways, uh, the Groove Line was on an episode of that show, and uh, I was like, who is this? I uh, was out digging and happened to find that record shortly after an episode where that song was on it and it was meant to be, had to own it. Up next, the Hondells. Some cool looking dudes. Some Mercury. Herb Alberts. And the Tijuana Brass. The Brass are coming. The old Goodwill Band, as I like to call them, Herb Alberts. Every Goodwill has a Herb Albert release. Here's uh, South of the Border. What now, my love? I think it was the same, uh, same photo shoot. I think so. This is the one I always see at Goodwill, going places. This has some, a sexy leg on there, though. I do not have heavy or whipping cream and other delights. I found a copy the other day, but didn't want to pay five dollars for it. I'll pay a dollar for it, maybe fifty cents. Or reverse that, fifty cents or maybe a dollar. Up next, here, look at this. Ah, Hawkwind, Hall of the Mountain Grill. Amazing, amazing band, Hawkwind. It has uh, Lemmy for Motorhead, before Motorhead. I'm always on the lookout for more Hawkwind, but everyone that has a good copy, they hike the price way the F up there for good Hawkwind. I think I paid 25 bucks for this copy, and I mean, it's, you know, where 
I'm not gonna say it's beat, but the, the vinyl's really good. But the cover is, you know, it's got a chop on it, and yeah. But 25 bucks for that. I really like Hawkwind, so to me it was worth it, but that's uh, out of my normal buying style. Up next, Huey Lewis and the News. This is sports. Great reference to American Psycho. It's a great movie. This is cool. This is called Heal, or Human Education Against the Lies. Civilization versus Technology. It's got all kinds of people on it. And something that's really cool is... Where is it at? Uh, Big Daddy Kane, Queen Latifah, KRS-One... Um, on Heal Yourself, which is a cool, cool track. Nope, doesn't have it. But it's got a bunch of cool, like, uh, Family Guy to Get Busy has Cool Mo D, Grand, or, uh, Ziggy Marley, Kid Capri, DMC, KRS One, Chuck D, Dougie Fresh. I don't know, I haven't never seen this before. I had to pick it up. It's on Electra. I love Electra. Electra and Sky Clatter, my two, um, labels that I love to buy from. Let me uh, flip this over. What? You pretty girl? Yes, yeah, she is. Side two here of Go To Blazes. We're back into it. We have... Paul and Oates, no goodbyes on Atlantic. This side's pressed louder than the other side, you can tell. It's kind of weird. Uh, Hall and Oates, Rock and Roll Soul, part one. It's got Sarah Smile on it, Rich Girl, Private Eyes. A good one. Hank Williams Jr. 5-0. Sweet caddy. Heart. Dreamboat Annie. Got Magic Man, Crazy on You, Dreamboat Annie. There's Dreamboat Annie Fantasy Child, Dreamboat Annie, and Dreamboat Annie Reprise. On Mushroom Records. Mushrooms, man. Honey Drippers. Young Boy Blues, Rockin' at Midnight. I Got a Woman is a Ray Charles cover. Honey Drippers is kind of like a uh, super group of sorts. Um, Robert Plant, Jimmy Page, Paul Schaefer, uh, Brian Stelter, Jeff Beck, um, some other cool people. This is a good, 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 good release. Probably a staple, I should go to say. Up next, another one of these, because I need two. Uh, this one's got to go back to Goodwill. Here's the Hullabaloos on Hullabaloo. Good guy. <laughs> Look at these scary looking gentlemen back here. Not since the War of 1812 has there been such a massive invasion of the United States by British forces. Creating their own special Fuhrer are four blonde Britishers, adaptly dubbed the Hullabaloos. I don't know. I don't... I should listen to that. It's been a while. Haha! Hiroshima! Hiroshima! This is East. 
This is, uh, th this is what you put on when you want to just, like, have music on in the background, zone out, and do whatever you're doing. Hiroshima is a good band for that. Hiroshima Go. I don't know what the five means, but... Just a happy band. She kind of looks like the Asian, uh, Kelly Kapowski from Say by the Bell. All right, that's all of H for now. There's a lot more, like Hawkwind. I would love to get a ton, all of Hawkwind. That would be great. But um, since I only have uh, three and I, we're going to get into I as well. Um, and all three of I are the same band. And that band is called... Iron Butterfly. This is in a gotta da vida. And I get a da vida. And I get a da vida. And I get a da vida. Or in the Garden of Eden. Good 17 minute long uh, jam out track. So ironic. Iron, symbolic of something heavy, as in sound. Butterfly, light, appealing, and versatile. An object that can be used freely in the imagination. Heavy imagination, man. Up next, we have uh, Iron Butterfly. This is Ball. Oh, that's not supposed to open like that. Needs blue. And lastly, I have Iron Butterfly Live. It's beat cover, water damage. Somebody wrote something on there and scribbled it out. Cool cover though. If it wasn't messed up. Kind of trippy. Trippy man. So yeah, that's all of H and all of I. Um, next week, I will get into J, which is fairly large. Um, that's all I got to say, I guess. Thanks for watching. Watch uh, the previous episodes if you want to. If not, okay. <laughs> As always, I am Dean, and as I say, keep on digging, or keep on spinning. What do I say? Keep on spinning, right? <laughs>